this experiment is to demonstrate you Newton's third law of motion. You know Newton's third law. Each action has equal and opposite reaction. If two bodies A and B exert force on each other, the forces are equal in magnitude, opposite in direction. To show this, I have balance. When someone pushes the pan down, the needle here moves on this dial which is calibrated in grams so that I know what, what force the pan has been pushed. As you push the pan harder, the needle will move through a larger reading and so I can quantitatively measure the force. Now I also have two magnets. These are the two objects A and B these two magnets will exert force on each other attraction or repulsion depending on how I place them and that force we will measure with uh, this uh, balance each on each of these magnets separately we will measure the force and we will see that they are equal and opposite this is a stand I have made this a stand using a PVC pipe. This is a PVC pipe and this is joined to this plastic piece through uh, M seal. That black thing is M seal used by plumbers. So with the M seal I have joined this plastic sheet and PVC pipe to make a stand. Stand is such that my magnet can go in this pipe. So this magnet I can put in this pipe and can just go and stay at the bottom on that plastic sheet. So these are our uh, apparatus and with this I will demonstrate you that force between these two magnets obeys Newton's third law of motion. So uh, let's start measurements keep your eyes on this dial because that will measure how much force is being exerted on the pan uh, when something presses the pan then the needle moves you see the reading and with that reading you know how much force is exerted on the pan so first I put this stand alone no magnet in and see the needle reading it is 50 grams so the stand is pushing the pan with a force of 50 grams weight and now I am putting one magnet into this stand it's still 50 grams needle is reading 50 grams 50 grams and now I have left it here so the magnet has gone in the stand and needle has advanced to 90 grams so the magnet alone is 40 grams, the magnet itself is uh, pushing it by 40 grams, the stand is pushing it by 50 grams, the total push downward is 90 grams, that is being read here. Okay, This downward force by the stand and magnet on the pan is 90 grams weight, so the reading is 90 grams. Now the other magnet, this is second magnet say magnet B. This magnet also I have to put separately first let's see what is it, its mass 40 grams right it's reading 40 grams now one the other magnet here two magnets are identical so it is uh, both each of them is 40 grams. Now the second magnet I am putting in the PVC pipe and in a way so that similar poles will face each other the two magnets will repel each other one magnet is already there in the stand and the second magnet I am going to put in repulsive mode and uh, you see if I put it here and bring it down and leave it what happens see the upper magnet is floating in air it is not falling down 
it is not going up it stays in equilibrium at a particular height because the lower magnet is pushing it up the upward force by the lower magnet is balancing its downward weight earth is attracting it down you have seen its mass is 40 grams so earth is attracting it down by 40 grams weight the lower magnet is repelling it applying upward force of 40 grams weight so that it stays here in equilibrium so one force i have measured force on the upper magnet by the lower magnet is 40 grams weight in upward direction so remember this force on the upper uh, this uh, upper magnet by the lower magnet is 40 grams weight in the upward direction now i have removed that second magnet one magnet is still in this stand i am putting it here it is 90 grams as it was earlier 90 grams a stand is 50 grams one magnet is 40 grams so this total reading here is 90 grams now i'll put the second magnet in the same way as i showed you earlier in the repulsive mode so that the upper magnet is floating is floating in air and you see the reading it has gone up from 90 grams it has become 130 grams and reading increases when someone pushes the pan down so which object has exerted this downward force from 90 it has become 130 so something is pushing the contents on the pan downward and uh, this downward force how much it is 130 minus 90 that is 40 grams weight and it is the upper magnet it is the upper magnet which is pushing the lower magnet down that is the repulsion you know similar faces i have put facing each other similar poles so repulsion so upper magnet is exerting a downward force on the lower magnet and that downward force is being measured here is being shown here on this dial it has gone from 90 to 130 so that downward force is 40 grams weight so what did we see we had seen earlier that this lower magnet exerts force on upper in the upward direction that we had seen earlier this is because of the equilibrium of this upper magnet now with this balance we have seen that the upper magnet exerts force on the lower magnet in the downward direction from 90 it has gone to 130 and the two forces are equal 40 grams weight on the upper magnet 40 grams weight on the lower magnet and the two forces are in opposite directions also lower exerts on the upper in upward direction and this upper magnet exerts on the lower in the downward direction so the two forces are equal and opposite in direction and act on two different bodies that is third law